Shout out to Sawyer River and some super sexy, licious, cool, badass. Look at that fat daddy. Oh, man. Praetorian tie. T. Genesis. Proxima. And full size midi. So um, this is Sawyer River shipment. Uh, they are Sawyer River Knife and Trading Company, 16 Norcross Circle in North Conway, New Hampshire, a place I wouldn't probably mind being right about now as it cools off and we start to hit the harvest season. And uh, I miss the trees and the changing weather, so I'm sure it's lovely back there. Uh, Trey with Sawyer River can be reached at 603-356-4155. SawyerRiver.com and Trey Emerson is the main contact there. Now let's talk more about the super duper cool knives. Now Trey and I were on the phone yesterday and he said typically when we send knives there's one that he keeps and puts in the vault and I don't know I kind of I told him I'm going to predict which one I think you'll keep and I thought this might be the one. It's a D2 Vulcan blade. The Vulcan is no longer available. This is a short run that we did maybe a couple months ago and so this has been waiting for some other knives to come through and it's got this lazy river. I'm still gonna call it lazy river. I think Samantha would call it lightning. It's got silver brushed peaks and blue down in the valleys. So whatever you wanna call it, it's super duper sexy. I think this is gonna be Trey's keeper. He's got two Proxima. This one is was laser engraved in-house. It's got this kind of leaf floral pattern. I would call it William Morris, if you're familiar with the arts and crafts movement. Um, they did a lot of wallpaper and um, fabrics that was kind of in this motif. Maybe not exceedingly masculine, but very, very beautifully done. I think it goes nicely on this model. And maybe if you're a little bit more of a gentleman or you wanna just have something a little bit more subdued or classy. Over the top, a little bling bling. Violet fade down to bronze, it has been faced. It's got these half conical sculpting from the top down. It still allows you to see the very cool milled recesses down on the bottom. This groove is hand done. These are milled and it says 35 tumbled. This one right here, um, I have no words for the Vulcan blade on this. It's a 3V Vulcan drop point blade. 3V rarely vulcanizes as beautifully as this, but I imagine this one won't stick around long. The anodized handle and spring are definitely uh, kind of over the top a teal and blue iridescent what I would call micro jeweling or second level anodization it's got some pinkish rose on the top so over the top Praetorian T here a little more subdued it's got kind of a hammered rocky texture not consistent I like that it changes up D2 Vulcan drop point with a standard titanium tumble clip and the full size Praetorian tie here it's got subtle sculpting. It's a little bit more textured and dug into up by the, uh, the blade and handle connection. Um, fades off into just a couple brushed parts down by the breaker. Starts in with a heavy blue violet and a subtle bronze towards the breaker. And S35 satin drop point. Partial satin. I think this has been satin and the bevel knot. But I think of everything on the table, this is by far my favorite. This fat daddy here is all kinds of wicked badassery in one knife. It's got an S35 PVD blade, PVD handle and spring that had the sculpting done first. So if you're desiring something like this on a knife that you'd like to order, what you would request is sculpting first, PVD second. And it's got some contouring done around the outsides of the fluting. This is not titanium hardware, but it's from one of the earlier orders, so it has been flamed per earlier requests. Flamed clip, and uh, I mean, you guys can decide for yourselves, but that one right there is over the top sick. Very cool. All right, so Trey at Sawyer River, this will get packed up, head out today. Again, they're in North Conway, New Hampshire. He has a brick and mortar store. Check him out, call, email, stop by, get your hands on some stuff. Trey, congratulations. I hope this stuff goes well for you. I don't see why it won't. Until the next time, I'm out.